Hi folks, I'm Fatal Snail and you're here watching Scrap Garden the day before. Uh, funny story surrounding this, I recorded two episodes of this last weekend. I had them all ready and waiting to go. I moved uh, to edit them this morning and found that there was no game audio. None. So, this isn't the first time I've seen this, but I love this game so much. Um, I'm willing to play it again just to let you guys see it because it's something that I think really should be pushed forward for a, like a full uh, full game basically. It's more like a demo at the moment but there's a lot to do in it still so we'll just jump in okay. So I'm on the game controller for this one and those are the guys that made it. Don't even know where I'm pointing. I'd like to tell you about one very unusual day for a very ordinary C4N robot whom the other robots called Kenny. A robot for whom many more exciting events were destined to happen. He's amazing. But nobody suspects this yet. Not even him. And so our story begins when the phone rang in oh, Kenny's home. He's so cute. So, yeah. Uh, this here is Kenny. He's so cute. And uh, we're going to run around and open all the stuff and do all the things again because we collect these little parts. And he can pick stuff up and fling it around. I can't remember what I meant to do with this. There we go. Jesus God. Oh, I have to grab this one. And Kenny, there we go. This is Keeper. You know I don't call without a reason. We've got a desperate situation. Last night the city's water supply pressure dropped and the reservoir engineer isn't picking up the phone. And then, as luck would have it, the door to the reservoir was blocked. Of course it was. Kenny, you're a jack of all trades. Help open the door and restore the water pressure. God bless The city will be indebted to you. Of course it will. Right, so, we gotta go basically down in the sewers and fix this shit because we can't find a dude. Alrighty. What am I doing? I, I don't know. And he jumps, look at him, so cute. Open the door. Out you go. We pick up nuts and bolts everywhere and they get us things. Oh, still gets me every time. And look, you can peer into other people's houses. Look at him reading books. Don't know what we're supposed to do with that. Anyway, out into the big bad world. So this is a free game over on Game Jolt. A free demo, I suppose, over on Game Jolt. Um... But to be fair, it is so pretty. Um, and it was the prettiness that drew me to it. As with most games, you'll hear me blether on about the bloody art style and how cute it is. But I really love this game. I love the art style of this game. And you know what I feel about platformery type things. They're always good fun. Um, he goes around, smashes the box, smash the box, thank you. And picks up nuts and bolts out of it. It's so cute. So you have a wee bit of like an open world vibe with the city here. Um, the buildings are all beautifully done. You can get up on top of some of them. Uh, but we're just going to run about and smash some boxes for a bit. I can't actually remember where I'm supposed to go. It's, it's pretty much a straightforward run though as far as I can remember. These guys don't interact with you at all. Like, not even a wee bit. Um, he doesn't do anything either to be fair right so i'm gonna see if i can get up here i don't know if i can i didn't try to get up here before i don't think i can get up there i think it's further on down you can get up here maybe that looks like we should be able to get up there doesn't it okay let's let's give this a go 17 hours later oh look at me go Whoop. Oh, hey! Ta-da! Haven't been up here before. What's up here? Anything up here? Ooh. Can, I, can, I, can I break it? Can I break it? <gasps> More nuts and bolts! Awesome! So you can see here, look at the depth of field and stuff in this. It's just pretty. It's just nice. It's a nice little world. The leaves falling out of the sky. Nice, pleasant music. This actually one. This is one that doesn't make me rage all over the show, which, well, as you know, is new. 
Because um, I'm normally pretty damn rich, eh? It's what? Who? Can I have that thing? Whatever that thing was. Can I have it? Please? Please have it? No? Throw it in, aren't you? Thank bastard. Right. Nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts. Nothing. Nothing here. What am I... Ooh. I haven't managed to kill him yet. That's also a positive. Um... Obviously, in like general life, not killing yourself is a good thing. What happens if I go over here? Why is the cop there? What's this? Can I have that? What's this? Ooh, who are you? Why are you reading the paper? He doesn't move. Oh, bless him! NPC just doesn't do. At least the cop moves about every now and again. So I'm sure there probably is a way to kill him. Oh, actually, no, I'm telling you lies. There, there is a way to kill him. However, wandering doesn't normally do it. So, right, I want to crack on here and actually get to the game. So, what you've got to play with here, basically, is about, about an hour's worth of a demo, which is pretty damn good, really. Um, You can play with both mouse and keyboard, or you can play with the gamepad, which is, whoa, what I'm currently on. Not because I'm better with a gamepad, I am... Oh, I need a hundred and... Right, okay. Um, I'm genuinely quite shit on most uh, controller type things, uh, which is something my husband finds hilarious. But... Oh! Um, it did say that it was optimised for game controllers. Now, I'm sure you do quite well with the, the regular regular old mice and keyboard most people would but um i figured for doing this it would be more fun if i could just whoa, fall off that i need to go break some more boxes okay we'll be back in a second okay so here we go i should have enough now oh yeah 150 I have to go fix this so you collect all the nuts and bolts up and then like get you in this next areas or get you whatever you need basically to carry on only downside to it it's like the ring the only downside is um it takes all of your nuts and bolts so if you if you need 50 to progress and you have 90 they'll take all 90 of it off you which is shit to be fair but i'm picking up all of them from here on out because uh they are not as oh i can't even speak they're not as there's not as many of them basically so computer which we have to use the mice for. So, documents, we have a map, completely unuse, unhelpful. Uh, we have save files that you can't get into. Oh, no, that's not the one I wanted. Images, eyes test. Don't know. Um, and then these, none of these you can open. So God knows what they actually are. Uh, if I have to hit escape, I do. So, even with the gamepad, you still have to use certain buttons to get... Oh! Fucking rats. These guys come out of nowhere. On top of that, they do that. Um, later on, we not only have spiders, just as the forewarning, we also have invisible millipede type things. I hate them with the fiery passions of hell. Here comes Mr. Ratty the third. Come on. I jumped. So his health regains slowly over time, bless him. Um, or every now and again, find the key. Every now and again, you can pick up like a spanner. And that fixes it, which is nice. Um, but until that point, he just sort of sparks at you. Open. Nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts. You don't wanna. Ooh! I'm shit with the old jumping. Uh, Hubby thinks it's hilarious because when we play Lego, anything, currently Lego Star Wars, um, there's more than once where I need his help to get across things. Because I can't manage to do 3D jumping. 
Doesn't make any sense to me. Ooh, puzzles. Maybe his health doesn't reach out for time. I thought it did. Uh, 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 go on. Now, if I remember rightly, there is a door there. There is also a piece there. We will get those in a second. Mr. Rat, kill him. This is um, not a helpful jumping task. So, I think it took me like six tries in the last one. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Uh, I'll be back in a second. There we go. Concentration. Face was on there. Jesus. Fuck did that bastard come from? Breaking the boxies. Get all the nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts. This is your entire... I didn't do that. It has to happen anyway. He drains all the shit out so I can get back. Because otherwise everything has sunk to the bottom. Which is not very helpful. Alright. I like the changes in the scene shifting as well. That That's nice. We'll grab that spanner. Fix me right up. And we'll grab these. And look one here. There's a rat over there. I know there is. Boss, the boxes! Come on! Ah! Yeah! Right. Ah! Uh... Woohoo! What's in there? What's in here? Lots of bolts. It's a piece of the puzzle. Whoop. God, it fucking drops it. God damn you, canny. But he's so cute. Right, that one's there. Was there one in that far room that I was supposed to... Oh, for fuck's sake. Hang on. I'll be back in a second once I've retrieved it. Okay. How many of you were shouting that at the TV? Might, might have told me. Might have told me. Look, he looks like he's just hovering. So cute. I like that can make... Um, quite a cute game saving sinister. Right, so... Got to join up the pipe. And yes, I'm using the mouse. Uh, cause, dear me. Can't remember how I did this the last time. Possibly took me quite some time. Oh, that would, that would work. I can get away with that, but I need to get... <sighs> Yes! There we go! That took much less time than the last time. And that drains all that good vibe. In the meantime, I'm going to bust things and pick up these. Okay. He can double jump, which is nice. So I like the way that sort of you get depth and stuff from it. Yeah, that rat just gets stuck there. Do I? Should I? Ah, uh, fuck it. You only get one nutter bolt out of him. Into the room. So, this is where the dude is meant to be. And he's not. So, on to the computer we go once more. Oh, I forgot about this puzzle. So, there we go. What you gotta do is get the yellow. Don't know what I'm pointing at. Get the yellow down uh, to that target on the bottom right. And it's gotta be red when it gets there. So, this took a while, to be honest. If I remember rightly. Ooh, the confusion. That one there turns it red. That one does... Oh, that won't go there, because... Yeah, it would stop. Okay. So, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Can't go through there. Can't go through there. Oh, there we go. Boom. Yay. Some security system. Right. So we're back in then with this. We've got documents and map. Another map. We've got core data PDF. 
save, save, and then and then this. If you know what it is, please let me know because it looks kind of cool. I would like to know what it is. There's an images file here. So you got eyes test, which is the same one, and then you got max res. Because it's over 9,000. Kind of awesome. And then uh, that one, which is a crystal. Data. Oh, no, data. Nothing there we can look at. Downloads. Analyzer probe. Uh, crack. Oh, no, hit the analyzer again. Crack. No. Chip. Which is a computer chip. And backup dock. Don't know what that says either. Uh, private, top secret, rickrolled by a video game. It's been a while, guys, but you know, thanks for that one. So that's it. That's all that's in there. Hello, Kenny. Is that you? You're at Talks the like post, but he's not there. This is really strange. He hasn't left that room in years. I'm Bless. dispatching the rescue squad there now. Do you think you can find him? Okay, give it a try. But if you notice something strange, turn around right away. Be careful, Kenny. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one here for now because there's a couple more chapters to go and I think I will turn this into a couple different videos. So, as always, uh, if you like what you saw, send me or leave me a wee message down below. Hang on, hang on, do we get, where's the button for, there we go. Uh, if you like what you see, leave me a wee comment down below. Uh, tell me what you think of it. Uh, tell me how stupid I am for not recording the audio in the game the last time. Because that wouldn't be uh, like me at all. Um, this is free on Game Jolt, as I said. So what I'll do is I'll pop the link down in the description below. Leave me a like or subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Cheers for keeping me company. Bye.